we're asked to evaluate each expression. For number one, we have x cubed, or x raised to the third power, when x equals negative four. So for the expression x cubed, the base is x and the exponent is three. So to evaluate x cubed when x equals negative four, we substitute negative four for x, which means negative four will become the base. So for number one, we need the negative four in parentheses to indicate negative four is the base, and then we raise this to the third power. It is important that we have these parentheses. If we leave them off, it does mean something different. Without the parentheses, we have negative and then positive four raised to the third power. So in this expression, the base is positive four and the exponent is three, and then we have a negative sign in the front. So to evaluate the cube of negative four, we have three factors of negative four, which is equal to negative four times negative four times negative four, which equals negative 64. For number two, we want to evaluate two x squared when x equals three. So for the expression two x squared, the exponent of two is only attached to the x. So here the base is x, the exponent is two, and this two is the coefficient. So we can also think of this as two times x squared. So to evaluate this when x equals three, we substitute three for x, which would give us the expression two and then times three squared or three raised to the second power. And now we simplify this using the order of operations. So we first simplify the exponents. Because the base is three and the exponent is two, we have two factors of three. So this is equal to two times three times three. Simplifying inside the parentheses, three times three is equal to nine. This simplifies to two times nine, which equals 18. The last expression, notice how we have the two x in parentheses raised to the second power. So here the base is two x and the exponent is two. We want to evaluate this when x equals three. So we substitute three for x. Remember two x means two times x. So when performing the substitution in parentheses, we'd have two times three, and this is raised to the power of two or squared. Again, following the order of operations, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Two times three is equal to six. This simplifies to six squared or six raised to the second power. The base is six, the exponent is two. So we have two factors of six. Six times six is equal to 36. I hope you found this helpful.